Hi students, it's Sasha. We're going to be working in English. We're in Unit 9, Monty the Cook. Let's take a look at the grammar. We're going to be using there's some and there isn't any. Our vocabulary words for this unit are food. So things like chicken, rice, salad, milk, cake, water, ice cream. I'm not going to name them all. But when we have one or two or three or four or five or six or a lot of pieces, then we would use their sum. When there isn't any, well, that would be zero. So if we look at the picture on the left that says there's some, we could say there's some chicken, there's some salad, there's some rice because we see all those things. Is there a picture, is there some ice cream in that picture? No, there's zero ice creams that we can count. How about cake? Do you see any cake in that picture? No, there's zero cakes that we can count. How about a cup of water? There's zero cups of water that we can count that we can see. So when there's zero, that means there isn't any, so there isn't any water, there isn't any cake, there isn't any ice cream. So let's go through all the vocabulary words and we'll see. There's some ham. There isn't any ham. There's no ham on the plate. There's some cheese. There isn't any cheese. So zero cheese on the plate. We have some cheese on the left. There's some salad. There isn't any salad. So we can see the difference between the two. Here we do have salad and on the right, there isn't any. There's Zero pieces of salad on that plate. There's some water. There isn't any water. So we can see that the pitcher, so what's holding the water is it's full of water while the cup is empty. There's some ice cream. There isn't any ice cream. There's some bread. There isn't any bread. There's some chicken. There isn't any chicken. There's some milk. There isn't any milk. There's some cake. There isn't any cake. There's some rice. There isn't any rice. So in all those examples, the ones on the left had the food, they had the rice, the milk, the, cook, the cake, the ice cream, the ham, the chicken. We saw it, we can see that there, there is some. And on the right, they were all missing. It was empty, so maybe we ate it all, or maybe there just wasn't any in the house. So let's move on to another example. What is there? So here we have a picture of some food that maybe Monty is going to serve at the picnic. What is there? Are we going to use there's some or there isn't any? Well, we want to describe what's there so what we can see. So we are going to use there's some. Okay, let's begin. What is there? There's some ice cream and there's some cake. 
How about this next picture? What is there? So take a good look at the picture and there's some, mm, there's some cheese and there's some, mmm, there's some bread. Next up, what is there? There's some, mmm, there's some salad and there's some, mmm. There's some water. Here we have another picture. One of the ingredients might be a little tricky to see, but we do have two ingredients here, two, two foods. So let's start with the one on the left, the one that's white and might be a little hard to see. There's some, uh, there's some rice and there's some chicken. This one's a little bit different. Take a look at the picture and is there ham? So can you see ham in that picture? If you do, then you would say there's some ham. If you don't, do you remember what we would say? So if you don't see ham in the picture, you would say, there isn't any ham. So we don't see any ham in that picture, just some chicken uh, with some lemon and I think cranberries but there isn't any ham. Okay, ready to move on? Is there milk? So do you see milk in this picture? So what would we say? Is there milk? There isn't any milk. Is there cake and ice cream? Do you see cake and ice cream in the picture? I don't. So what would we say? We would say, there isn't any cake and there isn't any ice cream. So we don't see any cake or ice cream, so we use there isn't any. Is there rice? Does that look like a picture of rice? No. So what would we use? We would use, there isn't any rice. That's our grammar for this unit. There's some, there isn't any. So some big ones to practice when there is some, so when you do see it on the plate or in the picture, we use there's some. And when you can't see it, so there's, or it's all empty, it's been eaten, it's gone, there's zero, we use there isn't any. With that, keep on practicing there's some and there isn't any, and I can't wait to hear you again.